Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how we can cut out hair from a background. So if we take a look at our project view, we have the original image. Always remember to keep a backup, guys. Duplicate it and keep a cutout layer. And that's the layer we're going to be working on in this tutorial. I have a red background layer and that's just to make it easier for me to see if I am really cutting out the gray. You'll see that in action a bit later. Um, we also have another layer here that's the background that we are going to put in later. So in this tutorial we're going to be using something called the background eraser tool. If you hover over your eraser tool, hold down the left click, you can then select the background eraser tool. We have various sizes here, just drop that down to a lower one and drop down the hardness to I think around 50%. That works well, it allows us to have like a feathered edge to our background eraser. And then please select this, which is sampling once. And I can never spell or uh, pronounce this word. It's discontiguous. And select that as the limit option. Tolerance, this is going to be a trial and error game here. And protect foreground color. Make sure that that's checked. And let's set our foreground color. We're going to work on this side first. And it has a lot of blondish colors. So we're going to go with that for now. And you can increase the size and decrease the size of your brush using the square braces on your keyboard. So I'm going to start with there and um, maybe increase that tolerance around 30. And let's see, let's go to our cutout layer. And yep, that seems to work pretty well. A lot of the grays seem to be removed, except down there. So maybe just, we'll go with this for now, keep that going, and then increase it ever so slightly, maybe to 40% actually, and still a no-go down there, just increase it more. That's what I'm saying, it does take a lot of trial and error, guys. Um, you know, play around, it just really depends on your image, what the tolerance should be. And also you can play around with changing your foreground color because that seems to help quite a lot too. So maybe let's reduce it to maybe around 35, 36. And try that again. See the problem is that whenever you have a model who's done a photo shoot, the background color tends to reflect off the lights and go into their hair. So you end up having a lot of the background color on the model's hair, which is not the best thing. But that's why we have Photoshop to deal with this. Okay, so let's go to the left side now. And let's try up here. Okay, that looks all right, not too bad maybe increase it a bit actually yep that looks much better and we're going to keep going down remember i'm just doing a really rough job just for this tutorial um it takes a lot of trial and error to get it absolutely perfect but if you are taking your model and replacing the background here with something completely different or something that these fine grays like this is, dis is going to disappear into, then you can get away with small things like that. So let's just get rid of the rest of the gray here, just quickly, and down here as well. We then going to manually go in and select our eraser tool this time. Actually, we're going to have to back on erase that bit. There we go back to our eraser tool and we can keep going remove that move that down there oops Just move it down there move it down there and remove this top bit here you might want to go in and inspect it. As you can see here, the background eraser tool doesn't actually take out all the grays in certain instances. So you may just want to go in and manually take out some of these things just to neaten up. 
You just use your standard eraser for it. And again, just for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm not going to do this 100% perfect. Okay, remove the background. And here you go. So for a real rough job, I say that was quite effective. Okay guys, so that's how you remove the hair from the background. And you can see there's still some more down here. And quickly, you can just neaten that up. Just increase the size of the brush here. And there you go. So I hope that helps you guys a lot. Just remember this was just for the purpose of the tutorial. You may have to go in and do a little manual work like you saw just to get your images absolutely perfect. But if you want to do a rough job, this works really well. Thanks for watching, guys.